there's more taking into it, more people taking an interest. There's more there's more graffiti. I started getting the chain in the Belfast, I saw the stuff by like Dan and Born Too and all that lot. That made me want to just do bigger things more often. Sort of try and find out how it was done properly. Belfast City Council does suffer very heavily from uh, graffiti. If it wasn't for graffiti, I wouldn't know half the people I know. In this country, it's a bit cross community. I'm from West Belfast, I wouldn't be over in East Belfast or South Belfast painting or meeting anybody. I wouldn't have a clue. It's brought me. There's not a, an enormous amount of the tagging here. Um, there's one main culprit, TMN. But having said that, that's not an enormous problem for us. Uh, the enormous problem is the anti-social part of it, you know. Um, it's the, the paramilitary stuff that would strike up, the racist stuff, the nuisance stuff, you know, people's names and where they come from. It st stood out from on the wall from other stuff, like the more like whatever, traditional, I don't know, sectarian bollocks. And sort of getting into it that way. I thought it was like cool back then. And then you sort of learn more about it and think it's a lot more deeper in that. Whether it's boredom or whether they just like to mark their area, it's, um, there's quite a lot of reasons. I don't think we'll ever get rid of it. Just, just like doing it, I like seeing it, I like doing it. I know that no matter what you do, if you fill a bag full of spray paint and you go out, it doesn't always work out, but you're never bored. Like, you're always just, you find something, you get something done. It's like you've achieved something. You walk about the town and you see your stuff up everywhere. I suppose the younger ones would be more concerned with getting their name on a wall, a bit of recognition amongst their friends. The ones that do the art pieces, I think they actually enjoy having their artwork up to be seen and they don't consider it a problem. There's not one clear answer to try and eradicate it, this complex situation. We're just used to seeing guns and whatever else, petrol bombs and stuff on TV all the time about killings and murdering both sides of the border. Religion basically, and then when you sort of make graffiti, it sort of took you a different direction. You met people which were across the divide. You were like, you were glad to actually meet them to a certain extent because you were with them, you were mates. And to a lot of people, that would be wrong because they're from a different part of the Belfast itself. And do you, but when you first met them, do you, that was like the best feeling. With graffiti, it actually, you crossed them divides and whatnot. In my experience, Graffiti's graffiti. No matter how tastefully it's done, uh, it's done without permission. No one asks the residents can they do it. The majority of it is not tasteful, it's offensive. It shouldn't be there. Uh, and the sooner that it's obliterated, the better. If you want like a chilled one, you can go out, have a projection at a pretty quiet wall, and at the end of the day, you look at something you really like, like you've just made a big wall look really beautiful and just you're proud of what you've done or if you just want to go out for the ball sack you can just go out with a few cans and go tagging go like climbing and stuff from the boat so it's always like you might get a chase you might have to like climb over stuff you'll always get a bit of excitement you're out with your mates and you're having a laugh sometimes and it is like there is a bit of a buzz element to it and then there's other times it's like it is like a wee mission a wee sort of sort of it is like a wee army thing you're out sort of getting all, everything prepared, getting, I don't know, all the paint, everything, whatever, wiped down, your sketches and all that, where you're going to paint, your escape, all that there, it's all part of it. A wall roughly 12 foot by 12 foot um, with a good piece of artwork on it would take our, one of our teams um, a half day to remove. I would suggest it would probably cost about 250 pounds. I know there's a number of case studies across in England where there's been legal walls put up in Manchester and places like that. And for the first part they have been successful, but then once the wall's been all used up or you know people get into it, it spreads to walls that don't want to have graffiti on them. Me and Zenos were uh, down the tracks and uh, over the wall we were painting, we heard some Egypt getting kneecapped, so 
Ah, there's been a couple of Dodi instances there. There's always a bit of risk involved with graffiti, like uh, down on the train tracks, especially down near, uh, near Great Victoria Street Station, where there's a lot of trains moving at once. You can't really hear where they're coming from, things like that. The Enterprise moves really fast, so there's been a couple of close ones of things like that. And there's obviously, you're always looking out for the police. So, like, there's a couple of times I've got pretty close or even been caught, but always got let off a few things. But it's always scary when you don't know exactly what's going to happen.